Today we talk about the body language of Donald Trump while he is backtracking in fear. He was facing a fury of condemnation over his uh, summit with Putin, the Putin summit, and he turned tail and apologized. So I'm just going to briefly go over. Not very often do you see Donald Trump in fear. Not very often can you look in Donald Trump's eyes and see fear, but let's take a look. The sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. So that's the big news this week. Donald Trump turned tail and backtracked. It was weak. Backtracking was weak. It was not Trump-like. Before we get into the body language, and uh, I think Donald Trump was showing some fear, I do want to go over this. Let's go over some of the words that the uh, fake mainstream media was using and pushing on Donald Trump on the Putin summit. Right after, right after Donald Trump met Putin and they had the summit and they talked, here are some of the words that mainstream media was pushing, their agenda they was pushing. They were, they were using words like shocking, treason, treasonous, going absolutely nuts, the national freakout, it's appalling, he cowered to Putin, even the steroid-driven Arnold Schwarzenegger called him a wet noodle. They called it a, a disaster, a wholesale betrayal to the country. It was heartbreaking. He sided with the enemy. It was disgraceful. And I kept on hearing these words over and over. Disgraceful. Appalling. He cowered to Putin, a national freak. And I heard these words over and over on mainstream media. You know it's propaganda. It's mainstream media propaganda. They're trying to brainwash you. They feel that Donald Trump screwed up, and they started to hammer him. But here's what I saw. When I, when I saw mainstream media pushing all these words, you know who the words were coming from? They were coming from career politicians. Never did mainstream media go out there and talk to the man on the street. Never did they walk down Main Street and say, hey, what do you think about Donald Trump and the Putin summit? They never talked to no real Americans. All these words of disgraceful, absolutely nuts, appalling, all these words of Donald Trump is treasonous, they were all coming from career politicians in Washington, D.C., out of touch with reality. We cannot leave this out of the picture. They didn't come up to me and say, Bravo, Von Eula! What do you think about the Putin-Donald Trump summit? They didn't come up and talk to me. They didn't talk to anybody on Main Street. You know why? Because they would not get the response they were looking for. Americans want peace. No, the reason why they don't go up the main man on Main Street because they're not going to get the response they're looking for, so they go to Washington, D.C. and talk to all those pathetic career politicians, and they get the words they want, and that's what they pushed on Donald Trump. We cannot leave that out of the equation. But having said that, let's get on to Donald Trump, the body language of Donald Trump, because even though this is... What I'm now looking at, he, Donald Trump did what he felt was the best thing, but now he's backtracking. He's backtracking in fear. And the reason why he's backtracking in fear, I'll tell you that, is because behind the scenes, his lawyers are informing him about this might look like you're comforting the enemy. I repeat, behind the scenes, the lawyers scared him to death. They say, well, you know what? They might... Everybody might look at this as you're comforting the enemy. The lawyer scared him half to death, and now we see fear in Donald Trump's eyes. And remember this, I'm not here to say that Donald Trump should not be scared, lest we not forget the last president that the intelligence community thought was comforting the enemy. We won't go into John F. Kennedy the Cuban Missile Crisis in Russia. We will not go into that. But maybe Donald Trump should have a healthy dose of fear. I don't know, but let's go look into it. Right now, I look at Donald Trump's hands are clenched. 
He's clenching his hands. He's closed up. I mean, I see fear in his eyes. That's what I see when I analyze Donald Trump's body language. When he met Putin at the Putin summit, he was wearing his red power tie. But here, when he was backtracking, and he said, oh, no, I didn't say would, I said wouldn't. <laughs> Did he really think that was going to go off well? <laughs> No, I did not say what. I said what. But here he's using, he's wearing his blue striped tie. Maybe he's trying to soothe over everybody's senses. Blue represents a soothing, it's okay feeling. But I can't help but see fear here in Donald Trump's eyes. I see fear there. Maybe he's afraid of being assassinated for comforting the enemy and dare challenge the true power in the American Roman Empire. Sentence in my remarks, I said the word would instead of wouldn't. <laughs> I have uh, President Putin. Uh, he just said it's not Russia. I will say this. I don't see any reason why it would be. <laughs> the sentence should have been, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be Russia. Sort of a double negative. So, you can put that in, and I think that probably clarifies things pretty good by itself. So there you have it. That was the official word from Donald Trump as he uh, turned tailed and apologized. I don't think all the Donald Trump supporters are going to be happy with him apologizing, you know, backtracking to the media. That's what this truly is. This is Donald Trump scared of the power of the media. We cannot, even though the media is dying, mainstream media is dying. They don't have the power they used to. I mean, if, the, if mainstream media had the power they used to, Hillary Clinton would be the damn president now. So no, mainstream media is dying, but they're not dead yet. No. Mainstream media pounced on Donald Trump with all those words. I'll call them again. This was shocking what Donald Trump did. It was treasonous. Absolutely nuts. The nation is freaking out. It's appalling. The career politicians down in Washington, D.C., in the Beltway, they say, oh, he cowered at Putin. Even Arnold Schwarzenegger jumped in there, called him a wet noodle. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Mainstream media. They scared Donald Trump. But it wasn't just mainstream media. I'll repeat this again. Donald Trump stands up to mainstream media pretty damn good. I'll give him that much. But what really scared Donald Trump was the lawyers behind the scenes. And look at, the, look at his eyeballs there. Look at his eyes. He's scared to death. The lawyers said they probably gave him a couple, you know, John F. Kennedy uh, stories. And then they say, listen... This is serious business, comforting the enemy. The intelligence community doesn't take that lightly. Basically, what we're looking at here is this. The CIA and the Mossad are waiting for Donald Trump to denounce Putin. The intelligence community is waiting for Donald Trump to denounce Russia. And they will accept nothing less. That's where we're at here now. That's where we're at in the American Roman Empire. Billions and billions and billions, if not trillions of dollars in this military industrial complex. And I can only think that President General Eisenhower is rolling over in his grave when he finds out that Donald Trump turned tailed with his tail between his legs and apologized and backtracked. But hey, that's all we're going. All we're doing is documenting. I said I would not make very many videos, but when I find the when I find videos and evidence of Donald Trump with his arms closed in, his fear in his eyes doesn't happen very often, and we have to document it. Will Donald Trump survive the deep state power matrix, which includes mainstream media. They're all working together. Remember, many people, many of those people that work for the news agencies actually have a CIA salary. Okay, we're well, not going to focus on that. But remember this, body language is not an exact, perfect science. You cannot 
take just one example or one trait, one motion. You cannot go on just one motion, one, one example. You have to add in everything. You have to add in the hands and the eyes and the feet, the lips, the creases, the wrinkles, the nose, the arm. But see, so when Donald Trump folds his arms, that by itself means nothing. Now this here, with his hands clenching his fist, that means something. The eyes can tell you. I mean, I don't have to tell you there's fear in those eyeballs. But remember this, when Donald Trump, when his arms are folded and closed in, by itself, that means nothing. Donald Trump does it all the time. Donald Trump sometimes feels comfortable with his arms folded. He, uh, but, but when you add in the creases, the wrinkles, the fear in the eyes, the hand holding the fist, when you add it all in, I believe that Donald Trump was scared. This is one of the few times that mainstream media scared Donald Trump. Like I say, we you cannot when he holds his when he folds his arms like that, a lot of times he feels comfortable. But that is a trait that helps him lie. Because Donald Trump lies a lot and it's it's helpful. When Donald Trump is lying to the public, it's helpful for him to fold his arms and but look at again. We're going to document this. There's fear in those eyes. Donald Trump was rattled. No doubt about it. I'll leave you with this. Mainstream media rattled Donald Trump on this one. He backtracked. He hightailed it out of there and he apologized. And uh, what are you going to do? No, we're not perfect. None of us are perfect. But, you know, I'm sure this is, this is not one of Donald Trump's, you know, high points in his career as a president of the United States. Let's hope he gets better at it.